It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Let's see what else we have here. The increase of risk of skin infections. Here is how often you should be washing your sheets this winter season. I'm just going to say like pretty often, okay? Don't. Don't go like a, a month without cleaning your sheets. You'd be like a week, okay? Every week you should be doing your sheets. Maybe two weeks. Depends on how freaking nasty you are. I'm just saying. I went to the gym and I didn't shower afterwards. Wash them freaking sheets tomorrow. You may have rot, bed rot if you didn't see my story on the Herkle Durkle. Some people get bed rot, you know? Like mold growing under their hiney. And you got to just feel for those people. And send them over some, you know, some detergent, some Tide Pods. <laughs> the Tide Pod Challenge. They're going to decide whether or not they want to do the Tide Pod Challenge or wash their freaking stinky sheets. You know, that's on them. Once you give them the Tide Pod, that's on them how they use it. You don't want to clean your bed rot? You just went to the gym last night. You swept through it. You know, you were, you were putting it in. You put in the time. You walked out. You looked like you just went for a swim. They were like, do you need a towel? Like, no, I'm good, I'll air dry. You did an air dry. You get home and you're like, mm, I think I'm too tired from that workout. I'm just going right to bed. I'm laying it on them sheets, you know? I haven't washed them in six years. I'm gonna lay on them again tonight. You get in that bed. You wake up in the morning, the bed's gone. Disintegrated in the middle of the night because of the stench. It was like the stench, the, the, the bed ran from your body odor, <laughs> you know? But you were so tired. You didn't want to take the shower. <sighs> Wash them sheets. Okay, that's when you do it. Just side note, okay? So here, oh, here we go. Another one of some disgusting people. You can wear your jeans 10 times before they need to be washed. And more surprising facts about doing your laundry. I want to see who the hell came up with this 10 times freaking number. You could put disgustingness. You could walk through, you know, the daily. You go through like a kebab store. Nine more times after you take off those pants. Who cares about the kebab store? Who cares if you smell like cumin when you show in saffron? You're walking up. People are like, what the hell is that stench? Guys, I just, uh, this is time number two. All right. I'm sorry. I don't wash my jeans, but more than once every 10 wears. So if I happen to go to the Chinese restaurant to get my Kung Pao chicken tonight in these jeans, I'm wearing them tomorrow, you know? when I show up to the office. <sighs> What's that smell? George, he had Chinese again. It's day four of those jeans, right? Oh goodness, George. Some of us call George a pig, you know, just because he's doing it again. He did the Chinese food and then he showed up with the jeans the following day. I kind of understand that, you know, George, come on. You got soy sauce all over it too, like you spilled? I wonder if it says anything, well, if you spill on it, you should wash them sooner. Or if it's just like, ah, just go with it. Doesn't matter if you got crap all over your jeans. Just keep going until day 10. You know? You don't want to waste that detergent, the Tide Pod we send you. If you reflexively throw your clothes in the hamper after every wear, it may be time to rethink your laundry habits. Kung Pao Chicken. There are no hard and fast rules when it comes to how often to wash or rewear an article of clothing. It's really a personal choice, you know, if you don't mind the stench. Kebab store. Carolyn Forte, executive director of the Good Housekeeping Institute's Home Care and Cleaning Lab. <laughs> this is what she had to say about it. But I suspect most people probably wash or even dry clean their clothing more often than needed. She told HuffPost that rag. Really? We're doing a HuffPost? Gosh almighty. I forgot. This is YouTube. We're going to get a lot of HuffPost crap here. You know, sometimes when you're doing it, they HuffPost you. Not only can laundering your clothes too frequently decrease the longevity of the garment, your jeans start getting kind of loose around the jean, you know? It also has significant impact on the environment. Oh my freaking, you really bleeding heart liberal? I don't want you to use the washer. I'm washing my clothes. I had Kung Pao last night. The average American <laughs> household does about 300 loads of laundry a year. That's pretty much, you know, 
almost every day. A single load could use, oh, here we go. A single load could use, and you got on your jet to tell us this. You know, this Caroline, what is her freaking name again? Caroline Forte jumps off her private jet. You know, Carbon, she's doing it. And then she shows up to tell us about the 300 loads a year. You should only do 200 loads a year. Walk around with smelly stuff. How dare you clean your clothing? I got a jet to take to, Mon to Monaco. There's a tournament tonight for Baccarat. You're playing Baccarat. We're here just trying to get through the day with clothes that don't smell like Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> it's, it was good Kung Pao though. It's not like it was crap Kung Pao, like you had a good one, but you just decided that it was day two. Let's see what else we got here, guys. Let's, let's hear from Jet Setter over here, Carolyn Forte. The average American household, hold on, I'm sorry, I just have to tip my pilot. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, that's all you get. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. She's very, very, you know, tight with her money as well. Uh, the average American household does 300 loads of laundry a year. A single load could be anywhere from 7 to 25 gallons of water. You scumbag using 25 gallons of water. How dare you? Depending on the machine, older ones, they use even more, which is why they're creating the new ones where it doesn't get clean at all you know, and there's no water usage anymore. They just wring it out on like a stone inside the washing machine. They sprinkle it with a little water. That's what they call like dry, this is a new dry cleaning. There's no water anymore. You dry clean it at home in your washer. <sighs> Washing your clothes in hot water increases energy usage, guys. I'm sorry? Yeah, no, just book the return flight. Uh, no, I want the, you know, the, the jet stream. You're going to get me on a commercial? No, I'm sorry. I don't do commercial, even if it's first class. No. Private jet. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, guys, your energy usage, it's too much. Instead of using a dryer, you know, I'm just going to throw this one out there. Air dry it. I'm sorry? Yeah, I, I guess I could, you know, attach it to the jet while we're flying on my garments, you know, and my sheets. Because last night, you remember the gym. And then when I'm flying in the jet, I air dry it. I could, but I'm not going to do that. I got an extra commercial double-decker version of a washer-dryer deal at my house. But guys, I'm the spokesperson. I have to tell you, but I live at a different level. You know, when you have money, you know, like, you just don't. And so, like, you have to, and also, tighten up the belt. Tighten up the belt. <laughs> I can't believe you guys, you know. What's that? No, they don't, they don't have a, that jet. What jet do they have? All right, just book it, you know. You see, this is what we're dealing with here. Um, okay, guys, it's a big energy guzzler when you're doing the washer-dryer deal, so just try to air dry it. You know, you should attach it to your car while you drive. You should just get clothes pins. Attach all your favorite clothes to your car and just take a spin around the block, you know. You come back, it's like coming to America. You see people wearing your clothing. <laughs> like, that's, that's my vest. Wait, how's that guy have that jacket? You should have put like, stronger clothespins on. <laughs> Guys, I, 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 <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, could you please? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Wheezing and farting. <sighs> Welcome. Welcome to the Mark Inspire Show where Joanne destroys every program. So, guys, what are you thinking about this? You know, are you going to be wearing your jeans till day 10? I'm getting back into this one. This is a good news story. Every day there's been so many stories worth cutting. This is one of them for sure. Oof. Okay, so remember good old Carolyn Forte with her sage knowledge about you not doing anything while she jumps back on her jet, you know? At the same time, it's important not to wait too long between washes. Oh, now they tell you after you waited till day 12. You're like, I'm just going to push it. Sweat, oils, dead skin cells, and microorganisms like bacteria or fungi 
can be transferred over to clothing, dermatologist Joshua Zeichner said. Guys, he's an associate professor of dermatology at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City, so I think he knows, and you don't. So listen to him. You were going to wait till day 12, day 13 maybe. He's telling you about the microorganisms, the bacteria, the fungi. As the soiled garment sits, it gives microorganisms time to grow and multiply. These microorganisms can grow on the garment and be transferred back to the body if you wear it again. So day, you know, day 11, you're coming back with the genes again. You got Kung Pao. You got that day you did the kebab place. You even went to the waffle house, spilled waffle, you know, syrup all over your legs. I'm day five in it. You kept, you came back the next day. You had stiff pants because the waffle syrup, you just rolled with it, you know. This is... Again, you got to listen to Dr. Zeichner. <laughs> you got to listen to Zeichner on this one. He's a New York City Sinai Hospital doctor. He knows. <laughs> These microorganisms can grow in the garment. We already said this part. One example of rewearing sweaty socks can cause athlete's foot. Did you guys know that? That's one that they don't recommend is wearing the socks for a second time. That one, you're a one timer. You're Wayne Gretzkying it. You got the one timer, you score. You put the socks into the hamper. You wash them socks so your feet don't start stinking. You're destroying shoes with them feet, okay? You started with one pair of socks. You're like, mm, you know what? They're disgusting, but I, I gotta go. I'm in a rush. You pop them back on. <clears throat> the grimy disgustingness. You pop the socks back on. After five minutes, you don't even realize it anymore. You forgot, I'm making a coffee, right? Later on that day, you take your, your socks off. Your feet are black. You got gangrene. Guys, Zeichner. I, also, Dr. Arnand Garjajeri. Guys, if you are, want to see these news stories, head to YouTube. The link is in my bio. We are live right there, right now. And you can watch these news stories on the corner of the screen as I scroll, read along with me, and we make comedy out of it. That's the whole point. News is negative, not on my show. News is filled with hilarity and filled with just optimism. And whenever I'm reading stuff that's really dire, Somehow I'm finding comedy in it. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> let's get back into it. Here we go. So the dermatologist Arnon Geria, he's uh, with Geria Dermatology. He's got his own firm in Verona, New Jersey. And what? Yeah, no, they call it the armpit of America, but that doesn't mean anything because he's a dermatologist. He can help those people who have the stench. Uh, he said not washing your clothes often can lead to phacophilitis, phalacolitis and acne flare-ups. You guys don't want either of those. You don't want follicolitis. You don't want acne flare-ups. You're walking around, 74-year-old, you got acne flare-ups. Dolores, what the freaking hell happened to you? I don't know. I wore my sweater 16 times in a row without showering myself or the sweater. You know? That's on Dolores. Dirty clothes. Can, we did this part about the dirty clothes, Huff Post. No, I guess this is a little bit different. Dirty clothes can trap oils, dead skin cells, and other debris against the skin. Then you're doing like a, you know, like you're, you're there and you need to scrape a little off. You got the scalpel out, you know, you get the sandpaper. The bacteria and sweat accumulating on the unwashed clothes can also cause a foul odor. Kung Pao chicken. It, that one's okay though. Uh, some articles of clothing don't need to be laundered as often. We talk to experts to find out which items. So this is where we really get into the, the dirt of it, guys. What to wash after every wear. This is a good start. What stuff do you want to make sure? Socks? I'm going with socks. What do you guys think? What garment do you think? We're definitely not going to want to wear that a second time. I'm thinking it's socks. I'm also thinking it's your high knee butt underwear. If you wear undies a second day in a row, I've got to question your interest in staying you know, clean. Or if you're looking for something disgusting to start growing on your ass. Yeah, I'm just asking. One rule of thumb from Zeichner, generally speaking, the closer a garment is to your skin, the more often it should be washed. He said intimates that are exposed to heavy sweat or potential body soils should be washed daily. Again, that's your, where you put your dong. That's where your hiney butt is. You know, you're going to want to wash that one. But when you're there, it was Forte came out with that one. She jumped off the jet give us the information again. But if you didn't break a sweat in your active wear, you could probably get away with rewearing it. Disgusting. It's still disgusting. I'm sorry. 
Like you're out there, you're doing it. You didn't break a sweat? Yeah, you did. You may not have realized it, but you put an effervescence out into that shirt. The next day you're walking out, there's that stench. That's the two-day stench. Hey, I'm, I'm feeling air fresh. <laughs> you feel what? Anything else visibly dirty, stained, or has an odor can be thrown in the laundry. So I guess the Kung Pao chicken. You're probably going to want to throw those jeans in. Clothing that comes into contact with your skin but isn't sweaty or soiled can be worn a second time without washing, Zeichner said. Pants, sweaters, blouses, bras, pajamas can usually be worn a few times before washing, especially if they're worn for a short period of time without sweating or soil. Soil? You're soiling it? And you're like, mm, you know what? I'll wear it again tomorrow. Who out there has soiled it? And then they're just like, you know what? I'm thinking. I should get one more day out of that one, you know? Because why would I do... It's a soiling. It's not like it's like a completage. Like, we just got a soiled area, not the entirety of it. That's the worst. Like, who the freaking hell says if it's... Ugh, without any sweating or soil? Or are they saying, like, you were out there in the garden and you were working with soil? You know, you got soil on it now. And now there's, there's a dirt, real dirt. Not the dirty dog from the hiney butt. There's some real dirt from the earth. You got soil on it. And they're thinking that is something, you know, you should clean because you don't want soil on your clothes. Not really sure on that one. You guys let me, you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of that one. If you're just hanging around the house and you work from home and don't perspire much, you probably wear your clothes three or four more times before washing. This is Dr. Annie Gonzalez. Everybody's got a different opinion, right? Zeichner is like, dude, don't wear it more than once. You know, and then you got this, uh, whatever the heck her name was, Christine, what was her name? We had Zyker, Carolyn Forte on her jet. She's jumping off the jet to tell you to stop using your washer and dryer, air dry it, and use the rock, you know, the old, out of the Bible, using a stone, you know, to clean your clothes. Uh, the best one is Annie Gonzalez is like, you can wear it like five, three or four times if you're in the house just kicking it. You know, jeans can also be worn a few times before washing, at least a few times. In fact, they'll last longer and generally look better when softened up with wear, Repin and Check said. And some experts say you can wait 10 wears or more between wears. You're doing a 13. You're pushing it, right? One caveat, if you're someone who doesn't wear underwear, eesh, you should wash your pants or leggings before them again due to direct contact with your genitalia. New York dermatologist Anthony Rossi previous told CSN, how many different people do they, do they consult on this? Everybody's talking about different crap. You know, if your junk is sitting on your clothes, you're going to want to wash that after the first time. You know what I mean? You're not going to want to do it a second time. Anthony Rossi, he came out with it. What you can wash less frequently, outer coats, jackets, items worn, like bathrooms, sweaters, they can go longer without washes. Forte came through with that one. What's that? Oh, she's sorry. No, she didn't. She jumped on the plane. But if you're really worked up with a sweat, like dancing the night away at an outdoor party or a wedding, you may choose to hand wash with the stone or dry clean, you know, air dry. Don't do the dry clean. Air dry, guys. Save the money. Save, you know, you don't have to go down to the, dry, the local dry cleaner. And they're using starch now. You know, there's another thing with the starch. I th I'm sure there's something with the environment of the starch. Planning to rewear items a few times before tossing them in the laundry? Here are some expert back tips and tricks to keep in mind. How freaking long is this story? Seriously. I think that's enough. We got it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.